So why is Elon Musk so hated? Is it the self-inflicted wounds like this one? I'm considering taking Tesla private at 420 doors, funding secured, and we all know that never really happened. And the best way to explain it is this cat is Elon Musk, all right? And this remote control was a bad tweet. <laughs> it was completely self-inflicted. And things like that just keep happening over no, and no, over no, again. No, I mean, no, look at this one. No. No, no, eh? That's Elon Musk for you. <laughs> so, that glass was, was this tweet. Tesla stock price is too high, in my opinion. And then you got SEC involved and everything else. But is that really why Elon Musk is hated? No, not at all, I think, really. Elon is just being Elon. And I think we should all let Elon, Elon, if you know what I mean. He's literally creating rockets. He is creating electric cars. He literally started that. No other car company was going to do that. They are only doing that because Elon is doing it and they're trying to catch up because they see if they don't do it, they will go bankrupt. And on top of all of this, Elon Musk is going to pay more taxes than anyone else in the entire USA history. So why would you hate this guy? <laughs> he will pay... So he, he will be making 23 billion dollars and all of that will be taxed at a regular income rate of 40.8%. And this is just federal tax, I think. Uh, I remember watching a video just a few days ago, and he said that his tax rate is 52% approximately, uh, over 50%, more than half. I mean, imagine this. Do, would you want to make money and then you give half of your money to the government? Well, I lived in Europe, and that's exactly what happened there. And then I said, no, okay, thank you. I'm leaving. I'm never going back there. That's why I came to North America. And... Why would people hate Elon Musk so much? But could it be because... Everyone in this room is inspired by you. Who are you inspired by? Well, Kanye West, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's one reason why people hate Elon Musk, but I really don't think so. That's just Elon joking, obviously. Um, and... I mean, this guy goes to goes really far trying to make everyone happy basically and earlier this year in 2020 um elon musk did a poll where he proposed to sell 10 percent of his tesla stock now honestly he would have had to sell the stock anyway just this way he sold it sooner because his options were coming up soon and to exercise that he would have paid a lot of taxes anyway so it's just he's doing that sooner maybe he's also thinking about the tesla stock price is high and that's perhaps a good timing and you know tesla stock is very volatile and it's basically at all time high right now very close to it and obviously we know that elon musk did exactly that he sold his stock and then you see all this stuff right here. Elon Musk is whining like a baby to his millions of Twitter followers. He must be scared because he knows what every other billionaire in America does. But he's been freeloading off of working people. And that I want back down from a fight. Well, you chip in 10 dollars to help Warren Democrats. That's a wealth tax. Keep it 1%. It's interesting how uh, people are raising money when they hated Elon Musk. So he says freeloading billionaire made over 200 billion dollars in the pandemic and paid the most taxes compared to everyone in the American history. So what do you mean by avoids taxes? That, that's definitely not what's going on. Uh, but why is all of this happening? And by the way, I'm Canadian, so the US politics would just seem funny to me. Let's just say that. Um, that's one reason why I decided to move to Canada, not to the US, by the way. Well, I might still move to you, yes, sometime later. But why is all this going on? Is this about Elon Musk? Is Elon Musk doing anything wrong? And my honest thoughts are no. Obviously, there's 
you know, at, at a high level, you're taking risks. And um, in a recent interview, Elon Musk said that he's not looking to optimize for brand. He just tweets whatever comes to his mind. And he even literally tweeted sometime in the past that his Twitter at this point is just a giant piece of pile. <laughs> um, so Elon Musk admits to, to, to that himself. Uh, he's not trying to optimize for brand, and I believe in his case it's the right way to go. Uh, he has a very strong skin, which is a very thick skin, and strong skin probably too. Um, and that really helps him. But why is all this going on? Let me share this with you. This will make a lot of sense. And I'm a big fan of history, and um, this is an article, or it's now a book by Ray Dalio, and it's a very, very good book. And I love history, I love studying cycles, and this is what um, nations go through. So in the, in the beginning, when a nation is born, there is strong leadership, there is inventiveness, there is education, there is strong culture, there is good resource allocation, there is good competitiveness, there is strong income growth, there are strong markets and financial centers, and then there's a peak, and U.S. reached the peak not too long ago, when Soviet Empire collapsed, Soviet Union, and somewhere, sometime after that, U.S. started becoming less productive, it's now overextended, it's losing competitiveness, there's wealth gaps, large debts, printing money, there has been something a crazy amount of money printed something like 20 or 40 percent depending on who you who you um, look at 20 to 40 percent of all the money that's in existence in u.s doors has been printed in the last 12 months and that was also true a year ago let that sink in right now is 2021 december 30th in the last 12 months there has been 20 to 40 percent of all of the money that has been ever created, ever printed in the U.S. doors, printed, and that's I could make the same statement a year ago, and it would also be true. Isn't that insane? So we are clearly around here. There's a lot of printing of money. There's a lot of debt going on. Although for U.S., I don't think that's. It it, it is that crazy big of a deal because the U.S dollar is the reserve currency and there's no good second alternative like where are you gonna go put your money in japanese yen in euros no thank you <laughs> um there's internal conflict there's although there's no other second reserve currency there's cryptocurrency now so that's probably the biggest competitor one of the last things that happened when an empire collapses is loss of reserve currency. So that's the last thing that happened. So all the other things happened first, and that's the last step. Weak leadership, uh, whether you're on a Democrat side or a Republican side, uh, you're not happy with the leadership overall in the last 10 years, clearly. And um, Civil War Revolution, there's... There's, uh, there's people talk about it. It's like five years ago, you would have said something like this. Ten years ago, you would have said something like this. You would have been looked at as a complete joke. <laughs> no way that's going to happen, right? And uh, now you mentioned something like that. And now that doesn't seem that impossible. So what is going on here is we are in this somewhere around here it, it it is hard to pinpoint exactly where we are because we don't know what's going we don't know the future yet so looking back it will be very easy to say okay this year was the year when we were top and that was a decline but this is why elon musk is so hated there is a big wealth gap um and the interesting thing in the us the way the school system works which is such a big surprise to me when i came from Europe, schools are funded by property taxes in that district. So if you have a wealthy district with houses that are 
2 million each, like this street when I live on. The cheapest house, I think, is $1 million. This house in particular is almost $3 million. So the school gets funded from the property taxes of the houses around the school. And guess what? If the houses are expensive, only rich people can live there. Um, so that's obviously a bad policy. Why would you ever do that? Because you want your kids to be educated, obviously. But then... <clears throat> I think that's just really not fair. Uh, one thing that I like about specifically where I came from, there's, the schools are funded by the federal um, government. So all the schools are the same. Whether you live in a rich area or a poor area, all public schools are the same. Very not true about the US. Um, but I still moved to North America despite that because I believe there's many other very good things about North America that I much rather prefer um, over much of Europe. So there's a big wealth gap and that creates conflicts. Large debts, printing money, internal conflict, loss of reserve currency status, weak leadership, potential civil war revolution. This is not about Elon Musk. This is about this cycle. So for the new cycle to begin, we need strong leadership. We need inventiveness. Obviously, Elon Musk is very inventive, and I believe he has pretty strong leadership. And he's obviously has a very good, strong education. He reads a lot of books. Um, all of these things need to happen for us to go back to a place of reason. Now, will that happen? I don't know. I hope it does. I really hope it does. But will it? I really don't know. Uh, hopefully it does. I believe it. I hope. I believe most likely it will be fine. Uh, the Roman Empire lasted for a long time. I think the American Empire is still in its infancy for the most part. I think uh, uh, North America will do very well. Um, and I don't think there's too much reason for extreme concern but i am not very happy with how things are going right now so in summary why people hate elon musk it's not that they hate elon musk it's that there's a big wealth gap between people in the us and then you have politicians uh, like elizabeth warren um, that exploit that take advantage of that and um i don't know why she's targeted elon musk i think if she targeted Jeff Bezos, for example, I think maybe she wouldn't have gotten that much of a pushback. Why would you target Elon Musk? Like Elon Musk is obviously the wrong person to target. Literally, <laughs> right? So it's not about Elon Musk. It's about the state of the United States. That's the real issue. My name is Matt Posius. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Watch the next video about why i would never buy my tesla again it's not what you think and it sounds very strange because i invest all my money into tesla so why would i do that why would i not buy a tesla again i'll explain that in detail in that video thank you